Good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Yeah. As you might guess from the title, it's Stag Do Hendo Day. Hendo Day? Hendo Day. We got up at about quarter to six this morning because we got, it, half seven we had, a break, we had a table booked at breakfast, yeah, buffet breakfast. But we wanted to go to the booth house because it's Sunday. So we got up, silly o'clock. And none of the boot tails were on, man. <laughs> not not one of them. Well, I mean, I said there's only two of them that we were going to go to, but neither of them were on. It wasn't even raining, it's but it was raining, like no. it was a little bit due to rain, and we didn't even think to check if they were on because we just presumed they would be because the weather's been fine all weekend. None of them were. On. And then, but it was a good thing. It was a blessing to us because it gave us time to go home and actually get changed and get everything ready, like pack the bag with my GoPro and all my harness and things. So yeah, we've had a little slow morning, but it's now like 25 past seven. We're both starving, thinking about this massive buffet breakfast we've had to go for. I've still got or, all my nails ever. Yeah, all my nails are still intact. Yeah, this, this time. They haven't fallen off. Are they going to manage through the day, do you think? I hope so. I mean, I've got to set up the whole garden, so I don't know if they're going to snap out. So she set the garden up yesterday. I showed me some cool pictures of it and it looked amazing so you guys are in for a treat today if you get some good clips of that. Today's going to be a nice little mix, mismatch of um, some of my clips and then some of Stacey's clips so you guys are going to get the best of both. You're going to get a stag and a hen in one video. This is going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. Probably not going to vlog much when everyone's out. They're all in now, they're coming, actually. But starting with a coffee and cereal. You going to get any yet? Any what? Any food yet? Yeah, I will. They've still haven't got that food out yet, so we just wait on that. Yeah. Do you, you want that one? Not really. I don't want any of them. You've got to have it. I don't think I've seen a lot of material. Oh, fucking hell. I'm so glad you have that one. I'm down good way. That's what it is. I love that. Straight out of charity shop as well. <laughs> A medium large. Oh, 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 so I've, I've tried both of these on and they don't fit. Sniff the crotch Here you'll be dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to rip the sides of it back. Yeah, we've got a skin stretch now. <laughs> yes. Those nipples. You're a handsome man, Ad. I've got no movement, but. But it's not okay. The I'm gonna get people to try. I'll happily wear your thong, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> well, you're not that much of a What is a shoe part of it? Do we need to register? No. Small this is, is this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to turn around? Do a little spin. I mean, I think the back's the worst fit. Yeah, why? It's a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, so Jamie is in his little outfit and he's uh, at Paintball now and I'm just getting ready to go to like afternoon tea at Wolverley with all my friends and family. I'm so excited, I'm just getting ready. Um, it's raining currently so the outdoor garden party we were going to set up so it was ready to come back and we could just chill but it's raining way too much and we haven't got any, we haven't got the gazebo with sides so it's boring, there's puddles everywhere and we wanted carpets down so I don't know what's going to happen but yeah and the person rang me from Wolverley and they were saying that because they were going to seat us outside because if it was nice, there's a nice big area where we could have all sat but fortunately that's not going to happen so we're on like little separate tables but it's fine, we can work with it I'm sure, <laughs> don't know where I'm going to sit but yeah I'm excited, I'm just part of my makeup on Oh, oh, sorry, bro. So, because I've tanned, I'm just popping on some Viva Liberate. Uh, you can see it's a highly active complexion veil. It just, I don't know, it just gives you a bit of colour, as you can see. And hopefully, matches my neck a bit better. I mean, I don't think I tanned here. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with some Nivea BB cream. If anyone knows where I can get this, I know you can get it from Sainsbury's, I think. I got this years ago and I never used it until like recently. And it's so good. It's better than foundation, it gives you just a bit of colour and it lasts all day. It's great. 
Okay, so I'm just having that as like my little bed. Um, then I've got some Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm just going to put this under my eyes just to brighten it up. It's quite a sheer foundation to start with unless you build it. Bit to cover the spot. So it's a bit like highlighting because it's a bit lighter because it's for when I'm pale. <laughs> so this is the finished look. Oh, glowy. Just in the car with mum now and we're on the way to pick up Sarah and Sandra and then we're going to go and have some afternoon tea, aren't we? Yes, yeah, sorry. I was concentrating on driving. <laughs> I've gone for the hot pulled pork and apple sauce. Mum's gone for the same, but on brown bread. Nice eating shot. <laughs> what? Yeah. So we're all here in the uh, the old village store in Wolverley. Uh, this is everyone. Say hi. hi. <laughs> We've just finished. <laughs> We've just finished up our lunch, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I'm wearing a cover over my nips. You are. I've lost them, Tom. <laughs> Trying to get it on. Uh, I'm just through there. That arm, I think. Yeah, like that, that's it.
So we've just finished up from the Hendo and it was so nice. We went to a place called the Old Village Store in Wolverley and they were so like helpful. There was only like 10 of us in the end. So they gave us the whole back room and they put the tables together for us and we put some bunting up and stuff. <laughs> you can come out. Do I have to? <laughs> I'm going to go and see what's happened. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. So, so it was really nice and all the food was amazing and then I think everyone had a good time, I had a good time so yeah we're just going to set up the garden now this is the second instalment of the Hendo there's only a few of us coming back it's like a, a pre drink thing for um, the Indian that we're going to have tonight with the stags so they're gonna, James is going to finish up paintballing with his friends and then his friends are going to go home get ready and then we're all going to meet there so I thought it'd be nice to have a look oh it's chilly I thought it'd be nice to have a little get together while we wait because we couldn't stay at the afternoon tea for very we can't stay there like for five hours but we can at home so we've got to sort out this this is kind of what we're going to do for the wedding so we've got like kind of like netting up around these gazebos so yeah let's get to it and I'm going to get a jacket because I'm freezing this is the final outcome. It's so windy, so we haven't been able to put the food out yet. But I'll give you a little guided tour. Uh, walk in here. This did say bride squad, but then the U in squad was like deflated, so I was like, bride, it'll do. <laughs> We've got, oh, this isn't meant to be here. This is all my spare pegs and stuff. Put that down there. We've got all the chairs out, all these chairs and stuff we've bought from uh, car boot sales and stuff. And then this is the drinks area that is in the sun, so that's not great for the wine, but oh well. <laughs> this is the drink station, this will be the food station with all the cupcakes on, and yeah. And this is the bunting that Jamie's mum bought for me for the... Uh, we put it up at the afternoon tea thing. Oh my god, it's so windy. I don't know if you're going to even be able to hear me properly. Sorry, Jam. We got a little sweetie jar. And it says Miss to Mrs. Nice little photo off, although the S is a bit wonky. But yeah, that's how it's looking so far. Good morning, you guys. It's after the uh, hen stag do. Um, I can't remember the last time we updated you, but basically, um, after I set up the, I think that was the last time, after we set up like the um, gazebos and stuff again, me and mum, thanks mum, <laughs> mum, honestly, was such a great help, she helped me put it together on the Saturday, take it down on the Saturday, because of the weather we had to, couldn't leave all decor out and stuff, and then we put it out again on the Sunday, and then we were there for like an hour, because it, it just took so long to get everyone back so um yeah and then mum had to take it down again all on her own so i do appreciate it anyway so after that we went to <laughs> joe is very tired we went to an indian and we sat in there and i felt absolutely rotten didn't i you did so did you mate? yeah she felt really sick don't know what happened don't know if it was the food the excitement or just rushing around for the day i think caused mine and it, it was just really warm in the indian and things yeah, yeah. yeah and then we guys i went to paint well obviously as you'll have seen and then we had, we all went to the indian together and then we went out for some drinks we took the camera but then we didn't actually get any clips of any of it mm. because like it was just i don't know and then that and then we got we got home about 12 o'clock we had a few drinks we didn't you know we didn't we were, like going for anything no. But then we've just got up at half seven. We were up yesterday from like before six in the morning till after till about one in the morning, and then we're up now at half seven to go to the boob sale. <laughs> Mental, didn't we? I didn't force him. I'd like to let everyone well, know. I that. didn't want to go. Like, I was trying to wake up at like seven o'clock, and yeah. my eyes just wouldn't open. I'm not surprised. I was just knackered. I'm knackered, but I, it's, we got the day off today because it's bank holiday Monday, so I know I can just go home and have a lie down in a bit and have another kid. So I'll get up for a few hours. Yeah, I've got to sort out my house. <laughs> I'm so sure all crazy. over, guys. You, you'll, you'll have already seen these clips, won't you, actually? Yeah, I, the thing is, I don't know how many clips Stacey's got and how many clips I got, really, and stuff. So I don't know what you've already seen, but 
I'm going to put some clips in now of something called the gauntlet run that they did at Pine Ball. But basically, they get the stag and the best man, or in my case, the best men, to just run in a straight line, and everybody else there has to shoot them. And they were like, I think worked out there were probably like 30 people there, and each person probably put like 20 pine balls in here, or tried to, you know, and Peter missed a lot of them. So we're, we're peppered. And I'm going to put some pictures in of what all my mine and Tommy's and Ad's paintball wounds look like as well. Which, if you're if you following on Instagram, you might have already seen some from the stories. Yeah. Head over to my Instagram because I, I did a few, um, I did a story of like all the pictures that I took and that's in my, uh, what's it called? Highlights. So check them out because they'll be there forever. Mm. I don't know what else, what else to explain to you guys about it because I don't, because of how we did the clips yesterday, I can't like imagine how much you already know and how much you've seen. So once I've edited it, if I'm like, oh, I didn't mention that, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. So I'm sorry if this isn't making too much sense, isn't it? We had a great time, we even did. despite being a bit ill on the evening. Couldn't eat. I went for the Indian. Did I say that? Didn't eat thing. I was like, mm, couldn't have a corner. Nothing like that. So I had scampi and chips, and I didn't even eat it. Oh, amazing. Never done that before. But not yet. Yeah, I felt rude not ordering. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. After backies. I still don't feel great, but I feel like I need to push myself.